We have two ash removals that is going on and then a center cherry tree removal. These trees are dead obviously from the emerald ash borer, um, so they're being taken down at the homeowner's request. It's an insect, about that big, shiny emerald back on it shell, and it came over from Asia on a pallet uh, up to the Great Lakes, and then once it disembarked from the from the boats, uh, proceeded to uh, infect the ash trees up in Michigan and then move its way down south, um, you know, into Indiana and moves forward uh, on down south. It lays its larvae in there and then the larvae, once they are in their pupa form, start to move back and forth and eat the, eat the, uh, the vascular system of the tree. So they feed on that, all that phloem that transports all the nutrients up, up into the tree, they feed on that and so then obviously the upper portion of the canopy gets starved for nutrients because they don't have any way to transport the, their water and nutrients. So it's unfortunate because we have some some people that we do work for that was all their whole yard was filled with ash trees you know so they have no more trees and not only no more trees but a lot less money <laughs> too so it's devastating. We've seen a few that are not being treated that surprisingly look pretty decent and I tell homeowners that man are you treating this tree? No well it looks pretty good so I there may be so there's you know, white ash and blue ash, and there may be some European species that are a little bit more resistant. So there may be some species that came over from somewhere else that have a uh, resistance to it. Just like when we had the Dutch elm disease, there were certain trees that were resistant to that, you know, that didn't get hit. But I think by and large, it's pretty, pretty widespread.